Hey guys, what's up? Rajit here from World of VFX. Welcome back to this channel once again. So guys, this video is completely based on camera animations, camera details, in-depth knowledge inside of Unreal Engine 5. I hope you guys are already excited to learn something new in this video. So let's get started. Alright guys, right now we are in Unreal Engine, the latest version and this is a very basic scene I already downloaded from Epic Games Marketplace. You can simply go and download, it's completely free. Alright, so first of all, as I mentioned earlier, this video is completely based on detailed camera details. Alright, so to create a camera, we need a sequence like a Premiere Pro. Like in Premiere Pro, we have to create a sequence, then we have to do a lot of stops. Same thing here as well. So to create a level sequence, there are two ways. Step number one, you can select any folders from here and then right click where you can find this drop down list where you can find this called cinematics and you can find this option a level sequence. You can simply click this level sequence button. Also, you can simply go here, click and you can find this option called add level sequence. Just click here. You can find this window popped up here. You need to just simply rename something. Let's say tutorial and then press save so now what happened this level sequence named as in tutorial so now this window come up here after creating this level sequence this area is basically called a timeline where you can do your lot of animations you can see the keyframes and you can do curve editors as well so in this panel you can simply import your camera now again to import a camera or create a camera there are two three ways okay if you click on this button you can simply create a new camera also right now you can see through the camera so basically this is your camera view if you don't want to view from the camera you can simply click on this button so right now you can see from out of the camera because this is a perspective view also if you want to jump back to your camera view simply click on this button you can automatically jump into your camera view now i am deleting this option just simply select and delete so right now this is completely deleted now step number two you can simply click this drop down where you can find these many options where you can find this option called cinematic also you can find here cine camera actor simply click and right now you can create a new camera but if you want to select that camera to your current view simply go here right click where you can find these two options one is snap view to the object and snap object to the view so simply click right now what happened the camera is set to your current viewport but right now you are watching from a perspective view so simply go to this perspective and select your new camera so right now what happened you are watching through the camera now you can notice there is no camera on this timeline so simply select drag and drop and it's created right now what you can see there's a called camera cut so this is the basically area where the exact camera animation is happening so now talking about the camera animation let's do some camera animations to do them camera animation you can see there are some options over here like camera components okay where you can find camera aperture focal length and some transform data i'll come later on this aperture parts and all so before that i'm just doing a camera basic animation just a basic zoom in zoom out so first of all you can see the transform option and you can see a keyframe options over here so simply check on this keyframe you can find out one keyframe is already here right now i'm just going to the last frame of here and let's see just a bit zooming it just a bit and also I'm click here to create a new keyframe that's it now if i play this you can see some camera animations happening now if you notice the camera animation started slowly and it stopped also slowly but if you don't want that you can simply select these two keyframes and then right click you can find this linear just simply select now whenever you press this it's playing like a normal thing so now let me show you what you can do exactly with the help of the camera settings so if you select the camera this is your basic camera settings where first of all you need to change your film back from 16 to 9 digital film to digital dslr because whatever you do this should be look like a dslr quality also you can find some focal lens settings like lens settings and all so you can find a lot of settings like 12 millimeter which is a wide angle lens you can also find so many lenses like 35 millimeter 30 millimeters 50 millimeters so basically 30 millimeter is a prime lens so in prime lens you can see a very good amount of bokeh so if i'll go to the first frame and if i'll go to some around this area because i'd want to focus on this board now let me show you about the focus distance so if you go down you can find this call option focus settings simply select this now there's an option called manual so if you select this manual option can find tracking disable so if you want to track something wherever you animate your camera you can simply select this tracking method and also you can track some specific object 
But here I don't want to track anything. So basically what I have to do, I just have to decrease the focus distance manually. So if you can't figure it out where is your focus plane and all, you can simply click this option. So what it's visible here, the rest of the areas right now is in focus. Simply decrease this area. Now see this area is out of focus. So simply turn this off. You can see the backside is right now out of focus. Now simply if you want to increase the bokeh effect, you can simply decrease the aperture to suppose at a one point. 4 so now you can see the bokeh amount has increased also you can simply select this dropper and click on this board so right now what happened this board is in focus but obviously the backside is already in focus now simply decrease the focus something like this and now you can see the backside is in out of focus and the foreground is in focus now if you notice there is some light jittering over here trust me whenever you render this out it will gone. Also guys, if you want any dedicated rendering video on this channel, please comment down below. Then I will definitely create a high quality rendering method video on this channel, World of VFX. All right, so if you go down, you can see a lot of settings. You have to play with all the settings. So basically these settings are like post-processing settings. Now, if you want to create some lens effect, you can simply check, you can find out there's a lot of options called like bloom. If you select this bloom option intensity, you can find out some bloom effects. You know, the light blooming and all. You can simply select, turn this off also. You can see the changes over here. So these are the settings which you have to do. Now, let me show you some most important tips for this video. In whole YouTube, you can't find that type of video where you can understand about the sequence rendering. Like if you have a multiple cameras animation in your scene, how you can combine all together. Let me show you in this today's video. And for this, hit the like button and also subscribe. So first of all, this is a level sequence. So I'm just closing this level sequence because I want to create a new level sequence. And let me show you how you can do all the stuff here. So first of all, create a new level sequence from here, add a new level sequence. And I'm just renaming it to 01 because some point over here. Simply press save and press a new camera. All right. And now I'm just doing a very basic camera animation like first frame and go to the last frame and just make a basic keyframe animations and just make a keyframe over here. So this is your first keyframe animation is done just like this. Now simply close this. Also create another one level sequence, rename it to 02, press a new camera and change the camera direction somewhere around like this, create a new camera and also same process you have to create another animation. So guys, in this way, you have to create some multiple cameras with their multiple animation in different, different sequences. Now I have created two sequences here. Now I want to show you how you can merge those sequence and you can render it out in just one render. Now simply I have to create another sequence. Okay. And name it to like final and press enter. And now you can find this option called track. If you click this track button, you can find a lot of options where you can find this short track. So this is basically for creating some sequence type of render. Now simply select this short track. Now what exactly it will do? Let me show you that. First of all, you have some multiple sequences, right? So if you click this plus button, you can automatically see your last all animations. Now simply press one first. Now you can see the first animation is imported here successfully. Now again, simply press plus and press zero two. So right now you have imported your second animation, but both are in this way. So you have to select the second animation drag and drop after this that's it and now you have to increase the frame range and also you have to change your cut range to here so now go back to your previous frame jump into your camera view so just simply click on this camera view right now you are in camera view and now simply play so this is your first camera animation which ends here and this is your second camera animation so in this way you can simply create multiple cameras all right guys so this is basically the most important part of this camera animations in unreal engine so if you want to learn more you have to learn everything about this camera animations first then you can go more in depth knowledge on cameras i hope this will help you a lot if yes then please considering subscribing this channel also please let me know on the comment section which type of video you want from this channel and my name is Rajat. I will see you in future with some more amazing new contents in this channel, World of VFX. Also, you can subscribe our older channel, VFX World. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you very soon. Bye.